Welcome back, Pure Structure Traders, for another Sierra Charts video for you guys. Today, we're going to be breaking down some of the more advanced settings you guys can use, uh, pretty simple settings you can use on a daily basis uh, for Sierra Charts. Also, going over some of the color graphic schemes you can do and adjust on the charts and then we're going to be showing you guys how to duplicate and move the charts around uh, so again if you guys do like the videos please go ahead and smash that like button if you are not subscribed to the channel yet please go ahead and subscribe any questions feel free to pop them in here on youtube we'd love to get back to you guys all right so let's go ahead and get into it so what we're going to go ahead and do is to the top here you're going to look for chart you can go down into chart settings uh, now, we went over some of this la in the last video, so again, if you guys haven't watched that, make sure you guys go ahead and watch that. We'll link it above for you guys. But in today's video, we're going to be going over some of the more advanced settings you can use here on Sierra Chart. So in this top bar here, you're going to see right next to the main settings, advanced settings right here. This is where you're going to be able to uh, kind of mess around with some stuff. Really, most of this stuff is kind of going to be kept... Um, to its basic whatever's clicked on you don't have to really uh, rearrange anything or change anything up um, but what you may want to try to change up here is right here where you see continuous contract you can actually adjust this most uh, traders who are new to Sierra charts probably have it clicked here on none which means that it will ask you if you want to roll over to the next contract because that's what happens in future trading. Uh, you'll need to roll over to the specific contract uh, that has the most volume on it. Um, but you can do that by clicking on this drop down box here and you'll see some options here. Continuous futures contract uh, date rule rollover. Um, a lot of the more popular ones are going to be more of this continuous futures contract volume based rollover or some people like to use continuous futures contract volume based rollover back adjusted which means it basically uh, takes one whole chart and puts it back on all the contracts and just puts it onto one chart um, but what I like to either do is click and adjust it myself which I either keep it at none or I like to keep it here at continuous futures contract volume based rollover that way whatever contract has the most volume it automatically rolls it over at that time with the most volume and that's what we like to do um, also, another area you could be looking at here is the time zone, used global time zone, uh, or used global time zone is what we use here. Um, but again, if you want to change it for any reason, you can go ahead and change it. You can drop down and give you your options. But again, we like to use the uh, used global time zone uh, for ours. Uh, that's kind of the setting we leave it at. Now, there's going to be another advanced setting, number two, which is going to have a lot more options as well, where you can actually exclude volume where you can input volume here um, if you want to uh, you can also change the name of whatever the title bar is so if you know you want s p 500 gold you can actually type in whatever name you want here and then just click apply and it will go ahead and apply over here um, to the far right and we'll go over this a little bit later that's going to be more advanced things you can do with that with the chart uh, but again, you can go chart linking, which will help you allow uh, the chart to link symbols, bar periods, scroll uh, positions, session times, studies, uh, and basically allow you to load days back as well on multiple charts. You know, so you could do that. You can see you can also down here. I think we kind of went over it in one of the videos, but we'll go over it a little bit more here towards the end of this video where you can actually copy chart drawings uh, from whatever charts you want. And you can put it onto all the other charts as well, so you don't have to keep going from chart to chart, uh, making the drawings over and over again. So some pretty cool things you could do there. Again, advanced settings number three. Most times you're actually going to just be leaving this alone. You don't have to adjust anything or change anything here in advanced settings number three. Uh, most times I don't do anything here, uh, but you have some options where you can adjust if you want to, or you can play around. Um, again, most times you're really not going to be sitting here trying to play around with this. And also you have alerts all the way at the end, which you can actually enable alerts and put some alerts. I got uh, an enable alert, which is alert one, which uh, if I create a line or a level that I want and the market uh, hits that level, it will actually alert me and give me a little ding. Um, but you want to make sure if you do alerts in the beginning, uh, when I did alerts, I put it to uh, alert me 10 times and 
that uh, was overboard. So you really don't want to try to have the chart alert you that much times. Um, but in this case, you know, just if you want to play around with these, you can go ahead and play around with that as well. Uh, but that's more of the uh, advanced settings that you can use, more of the simple things that you can use on your day-to-day -day, uh, basis with Sierra charts. Another cool feature you could be using here on Sierra charts is how to adjust some of the background um, on the charts or how to adjust some of the chart text. So what you're going to do here is you're going to look for global settings here up at the top. Click on global settings there and you're going to go down to graphic settings global. Click on that and you're going to see here uh, this is where it kind of breaks down you know if you want to change some of the uh, the link numbers, the time and sell bids, you can pretty much do almost everything here and adjust the charts and uh, you can make it however you really want to make it. Again, it will pretty much keep it categorized, uh, change the chart DOM columns, you can adjust that as well. But more of the more uh, useful things or a lot of the things that people, uh, especially new to Sierra charts people use, are going to be more at the top here, chart text, chart background, you can see if you click on them, chart text is white. Um, so if we put any text in here, it's going to be white. Chart background, you can see this one is black. Uh, so again, if you want to adjust that to a different color, say you want to adjust it to gray, you just click gray and then you apply that and it will adjust the actual chart. If you want to adjust it to any other color, say you want orange or you want like a, a lighter blue, let's just say put blue here and you want to adjust that to blue, it will adjust it to blue as well. Uh, but let's just go back and adjust it back to black. It's a little bit easier on the eyes. Uh, so adjust that back to black. And what you can do, what you always kind of want to do is if you do adjust any settings, make sure that you save your settings. If you do adjust anything, um, what you can do is click on this drop down here and you can see it says uh, number one, save settings, number two, save settings. So uh, for instance, you want to save this black, back, black background here. We can go ahead and just click on save settings. Go ahead and click save settings here and you can configure the name so let's just put test one here um, which will allow us to know that the background is black just click yes and uh, say for instance we want to adjust uh, here and we want to go ahead and make like a gray background we just go ahead and do that and then click that drop down save settings and then go ahead and put test two here and uh, once we put test two, we can see that that will be a gray background. And again, that's pretty much how you would work the settings to adjust the background color. And you could do that with the candlesticks as well. If you scroll down, you'll be able to see here candlestick fill up and candlestick uh, down fill. And you'll be able to adjust the colors if you want to do that too. Uh, just make sure if you adjust it to however you want, make sure you save those settings and it will go ahead and uh, bring it in this drop down for you guys. Uh, make it a little bit easier though. Go ahead and put it back into test one. Click on test one. Once you do that, you're gonna have to click load settings and you'll see it uh, adjust right there back to black. Um, so then you just click apply, cancel or okay. And then it will go ahead and take that off. And you can see the background here is black. Um, so again, that's a little feature you can use to adjust some of the uh, charts. Uh, if you wanna make it you know any specific way or you want to change any of the colors you could do that there again that's global settings and you go down to graphic settings global and you can adjust that there and also what you can do here in global settings as well um, is change the font so again you can see colors and width also you go to the right you can go ahead and change the font for the chart text the dom the text windows the spreadsheets you know and going down the list you can adjust that as well and there's some other settings here i don't really play with this too much um so i don't think most people will play with that one there but most times i'm usually in colors and widths or the font if i need to adjust any of the sizing there uh, but moving over for you guys here i'm going to show you guys how you can actually um duplicate the chart uh, or add chart books to it so again here let's just say we're going to mess around we want to create another chart book all you really have to do is click on here file and then you go ahead and you either new chart book or you open chart book but in this uh, case we already got it open so say we want to uh, click on this this is our new chart book here and for some of the new uh, 
traders who are new to Sierra charts, it's probably the best route to go. That way you don't open up a bunch of charts in one chart book, but you can actually open up a couple charts in each chart book and continue to duplicate that. It makes it easier to transition from window to window. Uh, so say for instance here, we wanted uh, S&P 500, the 60 minute chart, and we wanted to maybe duplicate this and make a 30 minute, 15 minute, um, and five minutes. So what you can do is up on this far right here, you can minimize this here. Uh, once you minimize that, you can uh, actually adjust it. You can see it's in the window right now and you can adjust it, move it, make it a little bit bigger, longer, uh, wider. You can just throw it around and mess around with it. Um, I think we have a duplicate chart back here, but show you guys how to do this. So we got a 60 minute chart here. And what you can do um, if you want that same chart is up here on the left hand corner of this chart. You can go ahead and just either click duplicate duplicate chart right here, which will duplicate another 60 minute chart. Um, and you can continue to do that. I'm going to make uh, two more other charts here. So duplicate that for you guys here <clears throat> and uh, do one more. And again, you really don't have to go. Uh, to each one and go into chart settings here and uh, make a different number like if you want a 30 minute chart you can do that that's kind of a slower process but uh, a quicker way to do it is just click on the chart and say I want a 30 minute I just type on my keyboard uh, 30 and press the enter button you can see it actually goes to a 30 minute chart same thing here if I wanted a 15 minute I do the same thing click on that chart type 1-5 and press enter and then same thing here if I wanted a five minute just click on that and press enter you can see every time um, I go ahead and click on something say I wanted um, uh, 30 minute here you can see right up here as I typed in 3-0 it comes up right so if I wanted a 60 minute you can see it comes up here again 60 if I wanted 120 minute it will come up at 120 and then once I press enter then it will go ahead and load that for me right but in this case we would just want it at a 15 minute chart that way we have it um, up here for you guys to see now you don't have to try to adjust these on your own there is a little bit of a cool feature that you can use here on Sierra charts where you can actually go into windows up here click on windows and you can see here it shows you a couple different options tile horizontally so if we click on that it will tile it horizontally um, which is kind of ugly here but uh, there's some other options uh, which we could tile vertically which will go up and down this is kind of uh, a nicer one if we want to see it like that uh, I think the one I like to use um, is going to be these uh, this tile as grid um, this is going to be a good one. So I believe that was tile as grid horizontally. Uh, this makes it a little bit easier to see here on Sierra charts too. So it's a lot easier to do that. You know, again, you can always um, click on the chart book as well uh, right here. Um, or actually you can click on the top left window if you want to say you want to create another chart book and you want to use a, a different one. Um, say for instance, you want to do crude oil. You can always click over here and you can go duplicate chart to chart book right we can do that and then you can see you can change switch the settings you can do a chart number two and you can create a whole nother chart book if you want and it will actually create a chart book with the same s p 500 in this case we already got chart book number two up right here uh, so we don't need to do that but you can always adjust it you can Go up here into chart chart settings and you can go ahead and change it if you want again you would go into file and you would find uh, the futures contract that you want so if we wanted say for instance nasdaq up here we would look for nasdaq where wherever nasdaq is or what uh, s p 500 or crude oil we we'll look for whatever we want there and we would go ahead and just click on it and then that would uh, bring up another chart symbol that we want but we're going to just use S&P 500 for you guys today uh, for the example now the another cool thing that you can use that makes it a little bit simpler here on Sierra charts instead of a uh, click on each chart and drawing um, on each chart you know one by one by one uh, what you can do here is say for instance we go back to here and we could delete that say we wanted to duplicate everything that's on this 60 minute chart and make it move over into the 15 minute um, the 30 minute and also the five minute right we want to do that we want to see it all this 31 97 50 
um, all the way over here and on the rest of the charts up here. What we can do here is just click on the chart here. You can go one by one, makes it a little bit easier. Uh, once you do that, once you do this, you're going to come into advanced settings here. So again, show you guys, we're going to go ahead and click on chart, chart settings. Once we get there, we're going to go into advanced settings number two and right here copy chart drawings from chart numbers we're actually going to say that we want this specific chart here right which we clicked on <clears throat> we want this specific chart here so go back here to chart chart settings and advanced settings number two and we want this specific chart to reflect whatever's on chart one chart number one right you can see if i move this around you can see the number here, 60 minute chart, chart number one. Then we have chart number three. You can see moving over here, chart number two. And then this far corner right here is a chart number four, right? So we can actually just say we want chart number three to reflect the drawings on chart number one. So you just go ahead and click that in here and you click apply. Once you click apply, you can see 3197.50, same exact thing that we have here on the 60 minute chart. And again, you could do that for each chart. Once you do this for each chart, so we'll go ahead and show you guys here. Um, so just click here one, apply that to this one as well. And then again here, I'm gonna do this for this chart as well. Uh, so advanced settings number two, click here, apply whatever we have on chart one. You can see every single chart now that we have has that same chart drawing. So anything that I draw here on this 60 minute chart will actually reflect on all the rest of my charts. Makes it a whole lot easier, especially if you're doing an analysis on the charts. It just makes it a lot cleaner uh, for the traders to see. So definitely a useful tool uh, for you guys to use as well. Again, this is actually a pretty good feature you can use um, to keep it clean on the charts. Also, again, it's definitely recommended for those who are new to Sierra charts uh, to create a chart book for each. So again, we have S&P here. Again, chart book number two, you can go ahead and make that um, like we did here, which is crude oil. Um, and you can continue to do that for whatever um, futures contract you're using or uh, if you're trading commodities or equities, whatever you're trading, you can do that uh, that way. You can actually adjust the name for this as well. So say for instance, we want a chart book uh, number one to be named uh, S&P 500 or uh, 60 minute or hourly charts on S&P. You go into file and down here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on save as. Uh, right, and once you click on save as, you can go ahead and see here file name. You see how it says chart book. You can actually change this to uh, S and P 500 uh, time chart time charts. All right, so say we save that there, and you can see here. Um, now it's no longer called chart book one, it's called S&P 500 time charts and we can do the same thing here if we want this to change to crude oil time charts, we can go ahead and just click save as and then down here you can just change that to crude oil time charts, time charts, uh, time charts and then once you save that there uh, it will go ahead and name it for you. And again, that's a, a quick little tip for you guys, especially if you're starting out with Sierra charts to keep everything kind of clean. Now, if you have multiple monitors like I do, what you also can do here is you can detach this, right? So we can see that um, if you don't detach it, it just kind of sticks in this window. You can't move it over. But if you wanted to, what you can do is go into window and here at window you can see uh if you scroll down here you can see detach or attach to window and once you click on that you can see that it actually detached from the actual window and you can move this over into another monitor that you have you can kind of make it bigger on the other monitor it's kind of what i do to make it a little bit easier and again if you want to just uh, reattach it again you just click on the window and then you go uh click and detach or attach window and it'll go ahead and reattach it for you guys if you want to keep it within this window here the parameters of this window um, but yeah that pretty much wraps it up for our lesson here on sierra charts hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you guys did please go ahead and smash that like button if you are not subscribed to the channel yet please go ahead and subscribe all right, you guys take care you guys have a great night